Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I encounter throughout the day. If for some reason I complete a task and you would like to see the details, you can click on the link in the description area below. This video also contains tips and tricks that I learned throughout the years. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. Thank you very much for watching. What's happening party people? We do have a tinker day today. Super Bowl Sunday. Let me get this steering rack out of my way. Need to climb up here and try to get this pipe off down here. And for some reason, our crackheads don't smoke crack through fuel injectors. Our fuel injectors are here. But you guys remember, this is the car that had these issues with rodents eating them. And man, somebody done some weird wiring. They hooking up ground wires to cylinder heads. On this thing, uh, these headlights are shot, but I'm gonna try to get this pipe off of the exhaust back there. And the uh, heat shields are already gone. This thing's so rusted, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that off of there or not. Because the one that was on the car is bent. So, anyway, let's take this. And see what else we got to get off this vehicle. I got a driver's side, front wheel skirt, and this rusty piece here. I think that's all I need from this car. Let me grab my tools and get out of here. Kicking off the tinker day. Trying to get this blend door motor that controls the defrost on this SV70. Because that's one of the problems with Cleve's car. So let me get this off. And see what else I need to get into. This thing's got good A pillars, got a good dome light. Might get a few more things off this car. I got both A pillars, the dome light, and that blend door motor. So let me get out of here. I got stuff to do. I am here with Lemonade. It has a caliper that's dragging. It kind of sounds like. Uh, Wheel hub is bad, but the sound never changes. It's constant, and it has worn that brake pad down. It's wearing into this rotor. I went and got a caliper out of my storage. So let's check the brake pads on the other side, and those pads are a lot longer, as you can see, have more life left on them than the other side. Let's get this caliper off, break these bolts loose, get this caliper replaced. I don't have my spreader, but I should be able to get it off. And the replacement caliper already has brake pads on it. For some reason, I don't see my wrench I use to get brake lines off. I thought it was in my toolbox, but I don't see it. But I used a shorty, had an 11, and it did break that line loose, so that's good. And as you can see, this caliper, uh, it's got these brake pads worn down pretty, pretty far. So I'm pretty sure the caliper is a problem. So let me pull this caliper, pull that line. I'm going to find some brake parts cleaner spray, spray that off so I don't have dirt to deal with and keep moving forward. I clean and grease the pins. I tighten them on the caliper to the bracket. I put the dust plugs in. I hooked up the line. I got the clip in. I actually put that in by hand. Didn't have to use a tool or nothing. So now I'm going to bleed it. I'm going to put a hose on there and a tube on there and bleed that brake. Got the caliper bled. Got fluid down there. Looks like the brakes are working. So we should be good to go. Stainless steel line. No drips on the bottom of that. We're going to go ahead and change the oil. And I'm going to try to seat this cover better in that bolt. I checked the oil was on the minimum line. I'm going to top off that coolant. Looks like I need to press that bushing in a little bit. That's hanging out for some reason. And I'm going to get this oil changed. Let's go ahead and drain it. Got my oil changed. As you can see, I marked my oil filter. That's how I keep them. The old one, man, it's hard to tell. It looks like it was around 135. So it was time. 
Well, that's it for today. Short video. Did a couple things on lemonade. Got a couple of parts for my next trip. So I got to hit the road and in that scenario and head to Virginia to help Cleve get his car to pass his safety inspection and try to prepare for his emissions inspection. In this part of Virginia, they have safety inspection and emissions inspection. It's different times. Really strange situation. He was getting a safety inspection done and they started failing him for emissions related stuff because of modifications that was done to the car. If you are in an area that has strict emissions requirements, you may not want to do things that will disturb that. And you know, I can't take the blame for stuff that happens like that. I don't know these requirements that these states and counties have for your emissions and stuff like that. You can make the car better and they want it original. You know, that's the safe thing to do. And they want to save the planet for people that live in their area. I understand that. I'm not mad about it, but it's hard for me to know what all these places require. So I, I suggest you don't do it. Keep it stopped. Keep it rolling. If you want to do something special, have a car in another state, you know. So anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. Try to get home today. Try to help James get that fuel injector working on his S70 and then probably head back to Chicago tomorrow afternoon. So that's a, a little bit of a task, a little bit of running around, just trying to help people that uh, need my help. So that's where I'm at. Appreciate you watching. Appreciate your support. Have a great weekend.